Joining us, I'm Melanie Johnson. Florissant police are looking for the hit and run driver tonight who struck and killed a 62 year old man and his dog this morning. It happened at the corner of Waterford and Blackwood Drives in Florissant at around 7 o'clock this morning. New at 10, First Lord Forest, Kimberly Donahue spoke with neighbors who say speeding is a problem in the area. Red, white, and blue flowers mark the spot at Waterford and Blackwood where Florissant police say 62-year-old Rick Alsept and his dog Chloe were fatally struck Saturday morning. It was just tragic. I, I just, I had a hard time composing myself. Neighbors tell us Alsept was a proud Navy veteran. Kevin Jordan says he and Alsept connected over their military service. He says Alsept was a fixture in the neighborhood, regularly out walking with Chloe. Walk around here every day, a few times a day, he'd take his dog out for a walk in the stroller and he'd pick up trash and collect it and clean up the neighborhood. And uh, everybody around here knew him. He was a really, really super nice guy. Police say Alsept and his dog were victims of a hit and run. The speed limit's 30 miles an hour. People fly up and down here all the time. Signs like these urging drivers to slow down are posted all around the neighborhood, but residents tell me they're not sure what else could be done to prevent a tragedy like this from happening again. And I saw people saying things like, oh, well, speed bumps would help and stuff like that, you know, but um, I, I don't really know that for the most part that those would help, but... I don't know. I don't know what the solution would be. For now, Jordan says he'll think fondly of Alsept, hoping he gets justice. It's just sad for somebody to live their life like he did, see the things that he saw, and then for this to happen, you know, for him to die and go out like this, and then the person to run. There's just no excuse for it. In Florissant, Kimberly Donahue for Slurp 4.